Hey guys. All right. So vocabulary for this week, we've got a few more words than we've had in weeks past. I think we've got eight this week. Our story this week is called Horse Heroes. It is a pretty interesting story because it tells the tale of some real famous um, horses in history. And it also talks about the Pony Express, but we won't get too into that. We'll just jump straight to vocabulary. All right. Our words this week, we've got ambition infested, landslide, quicksand, resistance, rickety, roamed, and vast. Okay, let's get going. Ambition. Ambition is something that you have a strong desire for. So maybe you really want to be a pilot when you grow up. You have a, um, an ambition to be a pilot, a strong desire to be a pilot when you grow up. Infested. Infested just means that it's covered by something harmful. So maybe um, an old abandoned house might be infested with bugs or maybe there is a tree and in the trunk it's infested with bees. It's got an infestation of bees. Um, but you can also be infested with like a plant. So kudzu is a harmful plant to other plants around it. And areas can be infested with kudzu. So infested just means it's covered by something that's not good for its surroundings. Landslide. Landslide is just earth or rock that slides down a steep slope. So it's kind of like an avalanche, but with rock or dirt. Quicksand. Uh, raise your hand if you've heard of quicksand before. Yeah, you always see it in the movies and people are like, no. And then they sink into it. Yeah, all right, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I just don't look silly, okay. Quicksand is very deep, soft, wet sand that can swallow people and animals. So it actually really is as dangerous as they make it look in the movies. Resistance. Resistance is something that act, the thing or act that resists. It's an opposing force or opposition. So sometimes maybe your dog doesn't want to come inside. And so you have to pull the dog and he's like, mm, you know, pulling against you. That is showing resistance and opposing force. He does not want to come inside. Or maybe if your mom or dad or another family member has told you to do something, but you really don't feel like it. So you don't do it. That is showing resistance. That is showing some opposition that you don't want to do it. So it's just something that's acting against it. Rickety. Rickety is something that is liable to fall or break down. So maybe you're, um, you're walking and you see this bridge and it looks kind of old and some of the, the boards are missing and you're like, oh, that looks kind of shady. So that would be something that's rickety, could, maybe something that could fall or break easily and it's shaky or weak. So all of those things um, maybe you see an old playground that has been sitting out in the weather for a while and hasn't really been taken care of. And it's one of those things where you go to sit on the swing and then it all falls apart. That would be considered rickety, not in the best shape. Roamed, uh, went about with no special plan or aim. So you're kind of just like walking around. You don't really have any plans on where you're going or what you're doing. Um, maybe sometimes your parents are like, I have say that you're just walking around aimlessly, that would be roaming. Have nowhere, no plans. You're just kind of just going just to go, just roaming. Um, the dogs that are always in the school parking lot, you know which dog I'm talking about, right? Okay, that dog is just roaming. It really has no place to go or anything like that. All right, and our last word is vast. Vast means very great or immense. So maybe like a vast field or um, just a vast space, just a big space. All right, guys, those are our vocabulary words for the week. Make sure that you come back to this video if you need to review their definitions and um, make sure you're checking your folders for your assignments. Have a great day, guys.